Hello, my name is Remy Dairo. My friends call me Mr. Productivity. I know you know that already, okay? Um, today I'll be sharing with you um, on a particular course, free training I'm, I'm doing uh, for you on how to generate business ideas. How do I generate business ideas? Many people don't know how to start business. Many people don't even know where to start from. Many people don't even know how to generate the ideas that make them to start business. How to turn, uh, you know, um, their, you know, their experience. How to turn what they have. How to turn whatever, whatever thing that they need to turn around to become a business idea. They don't know how. So I'm going to take you through a few ones, and then I, I'll be done with you in few minutes. Number one thing you need to do is okay. Let's go this way. Is find your personality match. Find your personality match. So. Um, you, you might begin to look at business that it matches your personality. Uh, if you are a growing person, you might find business, you might start a business that is in line with, you know, things that are outgoing, marketing, things like sales, things like meeting people, things like connecting with people. So you might find business around it. Uh, and if, uh, if you are a quiet person, you are introvert, you like be on your own and all that, you might find, find you know, look around for business you can do from home. So it's business you can do, you know, we don't need to have a contact with people. I mean, why not? Uh, business you can do probably on phone call, business you can do through sending mail, business you can do through sending messages and all that, that might not need, you know, human contact. And if you are a human, uh, contact person, you're a human relational person, you might need to find business around your personality, meeting people, calling people, touching people, sending message, calling, advising, whatever. I mean, whatever thing yeah, you know that your personality goes along with can be a good idea of a business to start. Number two, find what you love. Find what you love. So uh, business, you know, has this good time and, um, you know, other side too when you get frustrated when you get tired and you're thinking oh why should i why am i in this thing but you know what if you are in love with what you do you might you might not be able to sustain that business if you are miss sorry if you are not in love with what you do you might not be able to have you know that tenacity that sustainability hard to be able to go on so when you love what you do no matter the challenges no matter the ups and downs you are on with it why because you love it you love what you are doing you you are in love with it so Find what you love to do. Find what you, you, you naturally love to do. Don't do what you don't like to do. Don't do what you are struggling to love. Don't do what, what you, uh, don't, don't, don't take any decision because of money. Look at things that you love to do because it's very important to, you know, connect with what you love to do because you always want to give back to what you love to do. About uh, three. Find what you are angry about. Sometimes you are angry about something. So uh, sometimes, uh, you know, you don't like the way things are being done. You don't like the way they treated you in a particular business. You don't like, you know, the way some people, you know, are doing business. What you are angry about, turn it to money by, you know, starting something in it, changing it. So don't just be angry about it, you know. Uh, be, be passionate enough to change it. Be passionate enough to look at what, how can I change this thing? How can I do it better? How can I do it faster? How can I do it cheaper? So when you are angry about it, don't sleep with that anger. Wake up and begin to work on what you will do differently. That can, you know, generate a business idea. Number, you know, five is find your inner calling. Find your inner calling. I think this is number four. Find your inner calling. So sometimes, you know, within yourself, you are hearing yourself. You are hearing something telling you this is the path. You are reading newspaper, something is telling you this is your way. You are you are you are watching television and something saying this is this is who you are. Or you are watching somebody or you are seeing somebody else, oh, this is the way. This is this is my path. This is my path. But you know, sometimes you don't even know how. You don't need to know how, but find what is calling you within. Find your inner calling, find your inner peace. What is that thing that is talking to you? That is that is giving you, you know, a notch within. That can be an opportunity to you know to look into that. To give you business ideas, number, uh, you know, number six, about number five or six now. Find your energy. Find your energy. Find your energy. So the next thing is to find where is my energy? Where, what is that thing that I can do without, you know, um, without getting tired? What is that thing that, you know, if I wake me up in the midnight, I can make it happen? What is that thing that I do without looking at my wristwatch? What is that thing that I do without that? If they don't stop me on time, I might just keep going on and on and on. Find your energy and your energy is your experience. So how do you know your energy? Check what you have been doing over the past 10, 20 years. Let check out how you, how, how you've been wired. Check out what, what you love to do and then that nobody can force you to do it. That thing that you are just excited about. Look at your experience. Look at your energy. Look at where your energy comes alive. That can be a place to find your business energy and uh, your business 
uh, ideas. Then the final one, number six or number two, whatever, is to find your skill, find your skill or skills. So what did you study in the school? What are the skills that you have? What are the things you learned around? What are the certifications that you have? What are the things that, you know, over the time you've learned, either former or informal? What are the things that you've gathered as knowledge and skill? These things can be an opportunity for you to set up a business idea, all right? Um, so, I want to invite you to my, uh, you know, genius model called the C3 Tribe Path for growth, stability, and freedom for startup and business. So if you know you have an idea, you know you have an idea within you, I can walk you through. I can take you to a place of dominance where you become a market dominance. So you can sign up with my coaching a program. You can sign up with my C3 Tribe Path. That will make you to be more sustainable. And, and you can see that I'm going to take you through uh, the clarity session, through the conditioning session, capacity session. And this session is going to change your life and business for life. All right. Uh, you can also join me on my Facebook group called the Efficient Business Community. Uh, you can join me for more, uh, um, more capacity building information, more resources, and much more than what I'm doing here. Uh, for you so you can click there or you can go on Facebook and search for it and I tell you it's going to be an all sorts of time So uh, that is it for now. My name again is Raymond. I hope this had value to you on how to generate business ideas You know from who you are and who exactly you've been over the years. Have a good one. Thank you